Hi, and welcome back to the show that always goes, the exciting 30 minutes covering all of harness racing, past and present, and hopefully the future. Let's go back to Mohegan Sun Pocono Downs. Race three on Saturday was for $25,000 to $30,000 claiming trotches. And with the details, here's the drama queen. Wow, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. You should. Okay, now this is an evening where we've got the best three-year-old Philly Pacers in the country at Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs for these Alincia limbs, okay? But it happens to be a field of claiming trotters that end up stealing the spotlight, in particular Brighton Up, okay? You're really going to see her shine in this one. Check it out. Odd fractions, even with the rain pouring down now. And up front, it's Brighton Up, leading it by a length. Still with that good trip, Chris's legacy in the pocket. Second, moving up on the inside there. Super discipline. Angamere Devante can fight no more on the outside. Passing that one for fourth is Big Sky Domino. And gapped out at the back is Ashcroft. Up front here, Brighton up. Now extends the lead to about four full lengths to three quarters. 123 and two. 27 and four. Third panel. Brighton up has a colossal mile on mine tonight. He's out. She's out by about seven lengths now. Chris's legacy way back. Second with Super Discipline. Third. At the top of the stretch, it's all Brighton up her lead getting close to double digits way back to super discipline it's all brighten up and joe pavia jr just relaxing there and brighten up goes off stride brighten up produced the second fastest trotting mile in the history of the northeast pennsylvania racetrack and she did in fact shine she, she did in fact shine that's right driven train and owned by joe pavia jr she stops the teletimer 152 and one establishes a new aged mare trotting record for the five-eighths mile oval. Now, she was on the front end the whole mile. She ends up making a break, you know, going off stride, a short distance from the wire, but no biggie. She's all good. She makes it up. She wins anyway. Good stuff. Okay. The big deal at Mohegan Sun Pocono Downs on Saturday, of course, was the James M. Lynch Memorial, the limbs that took place. The finals, by the way, will take place tonight. That's right. Now, what happened was it's the first three finishers in each of the three divisions that make the final. Ruffles Kiss was even money with Joe Pavia Jr. A and G's Princess and Brett Miller were the five to two second choice. Sammy's Magic Girl was the three to one third choice for Matt K -K 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 Cali. Here's the call. Underway and starting fast, Sammy's Magic Girl quickly out to a lead of about a half length. Outside of her coming up, there is Ruffles Kiss, and Ruffles Kiss going to challenge as well. A and G's Princess moving up there third, followed by All's Well that ends well at the pylons fourth. Caught on the outside early, there is San Gesture. She's going to retreat to a tuck fifth, and the trailer here is all adorable. And Ruffles Kiss working hard to get to the front end, but clears Sammy's Magic Girl as they come around the turn of the quarter in 27 even. Ruffles Kiss off an impressive win at the Meadowlands has the lead here for Joe Pavia Jr. as the even money favorite. Here comes A&G's Princess also coming in from the Meadowlands and she's going to take over here for Brett Miller as they get to the 3 eighths mark. Ruffles kiss back to second with Sammy's Magic Girl third. Single file then to All's Well that ends well. All adorable on the outside looking for cover there fifth and then it's all and then it's San Jester at the back. They approach the half mile mark or the pace slowed down. They get there in 56 even 29 even second panel. Not too taxing at all for these top flight fillies. A and G's Princess and Brett Miller has the lead now by a length. First over grinding away is all's well that ends well. She still doesn't have second yet as Ruffles Kiss is still right there in the pocket. Inside fourth, Sammy's Magic Girl following cover on the outside is all adorable. She's about three and a half off the lead and the trailer now is San Jester. There's only about five and a half from front to back here. Three quarters, 123 and three, 27 and three, third panel. It's A and G's Princess. Miller still hasn't had to ask for anything. Ruffles Kiss waiting her turn in the pocket. Stalling on the outside. All's well that ends well. Sammy's Magic Girl takes over third. At the top of the stretch here, a and G's Princess now takes the challenge from Ruffles Kiss on the outside. Ruffles Kiss a slight lead. Sammy's Magic Girl firing on the inside, but Ruffles Kiss. Okay, the betting public nailed this chalk trifecta by the numbers. Ruffles Kiss, a and G's Princess, Sammy's Magic Girl, the one, two, three choices, finish one, two, three, and all qualified for tonight's final. Okay, now with the seventh, the second limb in the Lynch, here's Heather. Feeling you was not only the super duper favorite, but she was supplemented to the Lynch for just $15,000. She does not disappoint, winning her sixth straight race with a 151 and one time beating Native Doll, and no bad luck, driven by 
Jim Morrill Jr., and she's trained by George Berkner. Okay, in the ninth, which was the third Lynch Elim, Fancy Philly, a top pay from the powerful George Teague Barn, was sent off at the 1 to 5 chalk and didn't disappoint, winning as she pleased and strutting her stuff in 151 and 1 with what looked like plenty left in the tank for tonight's $250,000 Lynch Memorial Final 2. Sam Wizard with Brett Miller was second, all heart gal off at 11 to 1 with Georgie Knapp got third. Stay with us when we come back. We'll come to Harris Chester and we'll talk to Red Hot Dave Miller, who not only won a bunch of races here on Monday, but he went to other places. He's winning everywhere. Stay with us. Hanover Shoe Farms welcomes our 2010 foals. Only one thing is missing. Their names. What's my name? Please, please, please tell me my name. I don't know my name. What's my name? Tell me already. Come on. Mama, Mama what's, my Mama, what's my name? Tell me, please, please, what's my name? What's my name? Tell me, tell me, what's my name? We need your help. Visit our website at www.hanoverpa.com and you can help us name these fine youngsters. What's my name? What's my name? It's your big night out and you deserve a little more. That's why you'll love the Downs Off-Track Wagering. It's more than a sports bar, it's extra fun, because you can watch, wager, and win on the hottest horse racing action from Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs and across the country. Downs Off-Track Wagering, Allentown, Carbondale, East Stroudsburg, Hazleton. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER.